Okay, so in this video we're gonna keep working on the flowers and the lion and then let's uh, convert this to polygons and then after that uh, let's duplicate them and change the look of them and then let's texture them so this way we have uh, everything ready to take to Arnold. So first let's uh, select the dandelion we are uh, currently on and, uh, if you, and as you can see if this is black showing you can go to always the lighting and then change to two-sided lighting. So this way you can get the, the look back. Then let's select it and let's go to edit. Sorry, let's go modify and then let's go to convert and then paint effects to polygons and let's reset the settings here. And then make sure on the quad output, let's check that quad output. So this way it will be like a quads. Okay, so that's cool. Now we have uh, this group created with the main, which is have all the stems and then the leaves, which have all these leaves and then we have the flowers. Okay, so now what we want to do is let's duplicate this uh, multiple times. We're going to have like another two variations. So let's select the group and let's go to edit, duplicate special. Let's reset the settings here and then let's scroll down and let's click on duplicate input graph. So this way it's going to duplicate also the stroke uh, of the paint effects so, so we can have uh, still have uh, the ability to change it. So let's move it to the side and then let's click on the stroke. And you can see here we still have access to the same settings. So in, under the seed let's play around with this number. Maybe something like this looks different. Okay. And then let's duplicate this one more time. Edit duplicate special. Same with the input graph. And let's move it here and then let's select the stroke let's go to the settings and then let's change it multiple times as well maybe something like that it also looks different okay so we have these three flowers now they all look different than each other so that uh, will be nice to have this variation. Okay, so let's move this. And then now the next step is let's start working with the texturing. So this is the leaf that actually came from this paint effects. As you can see, it looks doesn't look at all like the dandelion uh, leaf, which is just how it looks like. So that's why we changed it uh, and we're going to supply with the proper texture. So let's select it again. Let's make sure everything is good here we didn't let's assign a new material now AI standard surface okay now this looks much better not the hair by accident okay so let's click on color file and then let's select the file all right so you can see now this is uh, applied correctly srgb is good and then let's go back to the shader where did Let's click on AI, uh, leaf floor. Okay, and then for the specular, let's turn it down. I don't want it to be like uh, very shiny. And then let's increase the roughness as well. Let's scroll down. We need to go to the geometry so we can apply the opacity. So let's click on it and uh, let's click on a file and go to the settings and let's apply the mask. Okay, so the mask is applied and let's make sure change the color space to row. Scroll up to row. Okay, so this is all good here. And then let's go to the settings and then let's select each of these uh, leaves. Then let's go to the shape node. We need to keep scrolling until we get to this Arnold shape node. And then under Arnold, let's check opaque select the other one and then the last one okay so this is good so now we're basically preparing everything to to take it to arnold so let's save as and then let's go to our assets just to make sure uh, we having everything is named correctly and also saved as well in case maya crashes which is will happen often okay so now everything is good here let's check what uh, maya give us here the material uh, for the roots let's select the shader so it's a ramp 
and we don't really need to use that let's check the color balance yeah so let's create our own shaders now for the dandelion itself because as you can see here it's very noisy and doesn't look uh, good at all comparing to here it's like clean and nice So we're gonna do that. Let's uh, go to Photoshop now. And then let's create a small file, like go new. And then let's create like 500 by five, uh, 512 by 512. So it's like half a K because we don't want too high res. And then let's select the green. For the green, for the root, let's select like some nice green color something like this and then let's uh, fill it let's go to you can do like shift and delete and then go to a uh, foreground color and then we'll fill it but uh, this doesn't look as good so if you go to filter now it's not in the recording but you go there and then you scroll down to render and then you click on fibers and then it's gonna give you this effect it's gonna look nice but now it's too intense Let's start adjusting it. Something like this, like uh, the vib variance is two, and click OK. So give you this. But let's undo and then redo this step again because we want to make sure uh, we don't get dark in the edges. So let's play with these two things even more. Okay, so now this is good. Let's see the strength. So you can see here, like if you increase the strength, it's gonna make it like more like grass uh, look. So we can increase the strength maybe like three, and the variance we keep it the minimum like one. Maybe we can go even more like four strength and click OK. So that looks nice. And then let's double click on it, and let's create another layer, and put it underneath it. Let's hide this so we can show you guys. And then it's the same. Shift delete. And then same forward foreground color and then let's show this uh, layer and then let's reduce the opacity a bit so this way and also you can play with the settings of the darken multiply uh, you know color burn to start to get like a different variations but for us let's keep it as normal like this so this way we have like a nice variety of our uh, texture so let's save as And now we are in the shrubs, so let's change it to our forest, source images, and our flower. And then we're going to put, this is the root uh, texture. Or we can name it root diffuse. Let's save that. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the other colors. So let's take a look at the dandelion here, and you can see nice... Uh, uh, yellow sometimes a bit orange so let's uh, go to Photoshop again and then let's uh, we can keep using this one we just need to delete this layer and then uh, let's change the color to like yellow something like that and then same okay and then after that what we can do is the same thing let's click on filter go to render and then fibers and it's gonna, it's gonna remember the same settings. So let's click OK. And let's go do the same thing here. Apply the same. And then reduce the opacity on it. Yeah, let's keep reducing the opacity. We want it to be subtle. We don't want it to be too intense. And let's save as. And let's go to JPEG. And then this is, we can call it yellow diffuse. And then let's create like another one will be let's say purple so something like this and then let's fill it and let's duplicate this layer and then filter render fibers and then click ok and then let's reduce the opacity maybe something like this let's save as jpeg change the yellow to um, purple diffuse that's good 
and the last thing we can do uh, let's say like a white color so we don't want to make it like very white we can make it a bit yellowish white like this and then let's fill it and then let's do the same thing duplicate the layer go filter render fibers this is good and then let's reduce the opacity something something like this should do let's save as jpeg and then let's call this white diffuse okay so that's perfect so then the last thing we want to do is let's create some kind of mask because if we go to Maya here and you can see like this uh, this really hard cut here let's try to blend it like make it more uh, like uh, here the cuts the edges for example you know so let's just make it looks much nicer so if we go here you can see there's a trim here toward the side so let's do that uh, so let's go back to Photoshop. Why we're we selecting the same uh, layer here? Let's delete, and then uh, uh, let's create uh, basically the mask. And this is basically gonna be really simple stuff. So what you can do is uh, we can select using the, uh, the square selection, and let's press F. So we have like full uh, screen basically. And then let's let's select one of these. Like you can select multiple things we can use this uh, polygonal Laszlo tool and then by clicking uh, alt or options you know you can deselect so let's deselect this side okay and then let's deselect this side it doesn't have to be like exact it's just something to break up the we can maybe deselect this one a little bit more to make it similar okay this is close enough let's deselect more okay and then what we can do here is uh, we can create a new layer and then let's shift delete and then fill it with white okay and then the background layer we can click shift delete again and then let's fill this with black so now this is what we have for our uh, mask now we can tweak it a little bit if we want you know we can we can scale it uh, more sorry I'm scaling the background so let's select the correct layer and then let's scale it by pressing command and T like you go to edit transform and then scale and then by holding shift and holding alt we can like uh, scale it evenly okay maybe something like this we don't want to we don't want to cut too much okay something like this uh, could do the job for now and then let's see if we th oh, i think that's pretty good so let's undo and then uh, let's save as this mask so let's go to JPEG and then let's call this uh, a flower mask. Okay, so it's saved. Let's go back to Maya and let's start applying uh, the shaders to these uh, flowers. So let's select first all these um, main uh, the roots. Let's select all of them or the stem. And then let's go assign new material. And then let's go to Arnold and AI standard surface. So let's go to the settings. AI standard surface. And then let's go to this AI uh, flower root. And then let's click on the color. Let's select file. And then let's select uh, flower root, root diffuse. Okay, so now we have it here. That's good. And again, let's make sure the specular is not really high. So let's lower it and increase the roughness. Okay, that's cool. And always you can uh, keep an eye on the reference to check. So the green, there is some of them a little bit brown, but for now this will do uh, just fine. Okay, and then uh, the next thing here, we don't need to do anything in this shader. We're done. 
uh, we can select all these flowers here and then let's make this one for example the yellow so assign new material and then Arnold and then AI standard surface and then let's call this AI uh, flower yellow and then click on color file and then assign the yellow diffuse okay so we can see it now here it's all good and let's reduce the specular and then increase the roughness so it's not as and then here under the geometry in uh, opacity let's click on it and then let's apply our um, flower mask okay and it's the same thing here let's make sure we change this to row the color space okay so this is good and then let's make sure we select the flowers we go to the uh, to the shape node and then under our node we click opaque same like what we did with this uh, leaves so as you can see here how this gonna cut so it's gonna look much uh, more realistic and nicer okay so let's go to this uh, guys and then let's assign new material we could duplicate the same material so let's do that make it easier for us so what we can do is basically select the uh, AI flower yellow and then go edit duplicate shading network so this way it just duplicates everything so we can change yellow to purple and then reconnect the new maps this way will be much faster and then the already the mask is connected so we good so done so this way much much faster so let's select it let's go let me save just in case and then assign material and there you go and then let's do one last time so let's hide let's select the purple edit duplicate shading network and then let's go to the diffuse the purple and then let's change it to the white white diffuse and then let's change the name to white okay last thing is uh, let's select it and then let's assign materials selection and this way you can see guys we basically created these flowers and they kind of good to go so the last thing we want to do let's just double check make sure we uncheck opaque and all of them all of them so all, that's good then the last thing what we can do is let's select this and then let's start uh, merging this combining everything so mesh and then combine and then you can go edit delete by type history so just delete all the history for it and let's go to the shape node make sure opaque is checked we can do quick testing now uh, with the lights let's select this group make sure you're selecting the group and you're not selecting just the mesh itself so let's select the group and then let's go mesh combine and then let's go edit delete by type history so this is done so one two and then the last one go mesh mesh combine let's go edit delete by type history okay so now we can safely select all these strokes and then delete them without uh, affecting our uh, uh, flowers at all so this is opaque deselected opaque that's deselected and then lastly opaque deselected so this way we good now what we want to do is let's change the pivot so it's in the correct uh, location So let's hold D and then let's push it down the pivot until it's least to the end. So let's we pushed it too much down. So let's raise it and then move it. So this way it's roughly like here. Let's also move it up a little bit. It's fine if part of the flowers went inside the ground. That's okay. We don't want it to be floating, that's for sure. So this way it's safer to push the pivot above. And that's okay. So this is good for this one. Let's take this one and do the same thing. Let's hold the D. And then let's push it down. Make sure, yeah, this is kind of good. And then let's push it maybe a bit toward the middle. 
so that's all cool we can always just push it around the uh, pivot just to make sure it looks nice like relatively centered and the last thing and let's do for this one let's push down and let's see so this one seems pretty good maybe push it a little bit up okay so that's good so what we can do now is uh, we can snap all of them but before we snap all of them in the middle and then export let's uh, rename things correctly so this is a purple purple and this one's yellow so we can keep it yellow as it is and then this one's white white I know they don't have a dandelion like a purple but it's fine because we're gonna be scattering it all over the place not gonna be very noticeable okay so now let's create a quick light create directional light and I just scale it so I can see it and then press 7 so we can see the light direction you know and then let's create also very very quick uh, ground this is just for us to test to make sure the shaders are working correctly so let's scale let's keep scaling and then let's uh, push the ground until it interact a bit more okay so that's good and then let's do a quick Arnold render let's make sure we have Arnold selected then let's quick render and see okay so it's rendering and as you can see now the ground is going too far up but that's okay and as you can see the flowers they have this uh, cut in them that we created with the mask and then they have the new leaves uh, applied to them so this is really good so now we know uh, our uh, uh, flowers are ready so let's re-render again without the ground so you can see now they look kind of nice and uh, they're not very realistic but they're gonna do a pretty good job into filling up the scene and make it look nice especially when the camera will be flying and passing by okay so let's delete the light we can delete the set and then press 6 and then uh, let's start snapping these guys into the middle so hold X and then snap to the middle and then uh, we can hide it for now and then let's hold X snap into the middle let's hide it then I select it, snap X to the middle, and then let's keep it, and then let's show everything else, and then uh, let's make sure uh, we have our transformation here. So let's go modify freeze transformation. So this way, all of them are zero 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 here. So kind of basically what we did with the trees, and now we have these flowers looking nice. So let's save, and they're not really too high poly. They were one thousand. 956 faces so not too bad we're gonna be instancing them around so it'll be fine and they look kind of nice we'll add a nice variation to our scene so in the next video we're gonna import these flowers into our uh, maya main scene and then we're gonna scatter them around so see you in the next video